years ago, I said that, uh, introduced myself in Paris by saying that I was the man who had accompanied uh, Mrs. Kennedy to Paris. I'm getting that somewhat that same sensation uh, as I travel around uh, Texas. Nobody wonders what Lyndon and I wear. Camelot was a fact in those days. I'm glad to be here in uh, Jim Wright City. Despite any kind of political uh, rumblings in Dallas, Texas, people were friendly. I'll put it on in the uh, White House on Monday. If you'll come up there, you'll have a chance to see it there. <laughs> it became a beautiful spring day in uh, November. Just a beautiful break in the weather. The presidential limousine will head west toward Dealey Plaza. Hundreds of people gathered. President's car is now turning on to Elm Street. Something has happened in the motorcade route. There were three loud reverberating explosions. Something is terribly wrong. Three bursts of gunfire. I saw him grab at his throat, and I knew something was wrong. The shot apparently came from a window in a building. President Kennedy has been seriously wounded. President Kennedy and Governor John Colony have been cut down by assassin's bullets in downtown Dallas. That, that can't happen, but it did. From Dallas, Texas, the flash, apparently official, President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. I seen all the stuff in the car. I knew from that he was dead. There was my hero on the table, unbelievable. I assume that whoever shot JFK probably killed himself. The man I knew was Lee Oswald. I think he was a lot more intelligent than people gave him credit for. I emphatically deny these charges. I said, Lee, I hope if anybody shoots at you, they're as good a shot as you are. There is Lee on the wall. I saw this blur out of my periphery vision, and then bam. He's been shot. He's been shot. Lee Oswald has been shot. I, I said, who is this? He said, Jack Leon Rubenstein. I said, what? He said, Jack Ruben. He thought that the public sentiment would get him off. He thought he could be a hero by killing the guy that killed JFK. Well, a lot of people say this was the awakening of America. It's when we came to face certain facts. You know, we, we all thought that things like this couldn't happen in America in the last, last half century, but we find our sense that anything and everything can and often does happen. The people couldn't have been friendlier. The crowds couldn't have been more wonderful, more generous in their reaction to the president. And I just had such a good feeling about the, the way they had received him in this city. I had just turned around and said to him, you can't say Dallas doesn't love you, Mr. President. And that was it.